Hey, what's up? It's Roy here. So today I have three very different cases from the company SimTech for my Samsung Galaxy S23. Normally I would do separate videos for these, but I wanted to kind of throw them all in one. And if you're interested in skipping to the one that you prefer to see, I will make sure to put some timestamps in here for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I want to start with this one here. This is the semi-translucent case. So it's a black matte bumper with a semi-translucent back here. In the interior here, it is the same thing that's going on. We do have some reinforced corners in here for drop protection as well, but pretty basic other than that. So let's go ahead and get the bad boy put on. And there is the case installed. So right off the bat, one of the things that you're gonna notice is with this type of material, the smudges are gonna show. The oils from your fingers and hands are gonna show quite a bit. Usually if you have like your t-shirt or something, you can wipe it down pretty easily, but just something to point out. It is semi-translucent, so you are gonna be able to see that Samsung logo and stuff there as well. The actual camera cutout here is pretty nice. I do like how it is. The lenses are recessed in. We do have a pill-shaped cutout though, and then it kind of has that half circle that's connected. So all of it is one piece right there, but the lenses are recessed. So if you do put it back down, it is going to be protected. The sides here are matte black as well. Has a pretty decent grip to it, so nothing terrible. It is very super slim too, but with the uh, power button, it does have some teeth there. And then we do have our volume up and down buttons here with the volume up button having a little dot there. So I guess if you're trying to search for it, you can fill that there. And then moving to the bottom here, we do have a good little cutout there for the USB-C charging port and our speaker. Moving to this side, just a solid matte black piece, nothing going on crazy over here. And then top down view, you can see that we do have a circular cutout for the microphone and it is very flat on the back. Looking at the front, you can see that we do have some raised lips that do go all around the whole entire screen. It is tempered glass friendly as well. And looking at it from straight on, you can see how it looks very slim and nice as well. Looking at the top, you can see where that cutout is for the actual speaker grill, and it's very minimalist looking, so big thumbs up there. All right, so now let's go and do the wobble test here. So face down, there is no shaking going on. And then if I put it back down, there is no shaking going on either, so it is a very, very flat case. Next, let's go ahead and do the clicky button test and see how responsive they are. So let's do the power button first. Volume up and down. All right, so the buttons are very, very tactile. So definitely passes my clicky button test with flying colors. Next, let's check the Qi wireless charging capabilities. So I slapped it on my Qi wireless charger there and you can see that it is Qi wireless charging with no issues at all. So now let's go ahead and get this off. So taking it off is pretty easy, as you can see there. Um, really didn't give me any issues at all. And let's go ahead and switch over to the clear case. I'm just gonna pop it on and there we go. So with the clear case, it is a very crystal clear case here. It has the dot matrix pattern all over the whole entire back so you can see that it doesn't give us any watermarks or any craziness going on there. With it being super clear though, you can see the Samsung logo pretty easily. And looking at the actual camera bump here, you can see that we do have the same exact design. They're flush and recessed in there very nicely, but the exact same cutout pattern like the semi-translucent one right there. So once again, it's gonna do very well against being placed back down. Looking at the side here, you can see that once again, we do have that dot matrix pattern all up and down the whole entire uh, frame of the case, just like the back. So that way it's not gonna get watermarks and ugly looking uh, stuff going on on the side here. The uh, buttons are very raised and tactile as well, which we'll test here in a minute, but they're all crystal clear. Moving to the bottom, you can see once again that it is very clear, so you can see the SIM card tray there, but we do have a USB-C charging port with a little bit different cutout than the translucent one, and then a cutout for our speaker there. This side is crystal clear once again with the dot matrix pattern, but no buttons or anything. And then looking at the top-down version, same thing, fairly flat on the back there with a circular cutout for the uh, microphone. And as I'm doing that, you can see those reinforced corners there once again, just like the 
uh, semi-translucent one, it just shows up quite a bit more with the clear case. Looking at the front, you can see once again, those clear, slim, raised lips around the front. So we are getting some screen protection here. It is tempered glass friendly as well. And that's the look with the screen turned on, but you can see it is very, very crystal clear. And then same kind of design here with the cutout. So you can see that very minimalist look for the speaker there. Having the phone face down, you can see that there is no shaking going on. And then if I flip it over and have it back down, Kind of the same thing, but there is actually a little bit of a shake going on right here. So not as non-wobbly as the semi-translucent one for whatever reason. So next let's do the clicky button test here. So let's do the power button first. Volume up and down. Okay, so buttons are very tactile. The volume up and down button are way more tactile than the power button, but that's not a knock on the power button. It is still very tactile, but just something to bring up. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and do the Qi wireless charging test with this. And as you can see, it is Qi wireless charging compatible. So now let's get this one removed here. The uninstall process is super, super simple once again. And let's get this one on. So with this, this is a little bit different looking than the others. The interior is very plain Jane. It is a complete matte black interior. It does have reinforced corners as well, but there's not much else going on inside. So with the install process, let's go ahead and do the same thing. We'll start with that uh, button side and then we'll push in and there is the case installed. So taking a closer look, you can see the design pattern here is a tad bit different than the other ones. So with this here, it's a matte black smooth texture. Um, but it does have a little bit of some different design work here. And the secret sauce with this case is this right here. So as it says here, lens protection, uh, very generic, but what it does is if you see this, it slides open and clicks in very nicely to reveal the lenses of the S23. And I really like the design of this because it is almost in the middle. It's off a little bit, obviously, as you can see there, but with this little part here, it is raised, so it is a lot easier to find it and slide it back and forth. But once you click it in, it does stay and it doesn't move around or shake or anything like that. You are getting some lens protection, obviously with this. So the lenses are nicely recessed in there. So you're not gonna have any issues at all. If you do drop it back down, the lenses are very much protected. But then if you do wanna completely close it up, then you just click it and now it's closed. On this side here, you can see that it is a matte black side, but with the uh, volume up and down and the power buttons, they are uh, matte black and raised as well, but they do have some teeth in them. So if you're searching for them, you can get kind of a nice little sensation of rubbing your finger against them, but that is welcomed. I've always loved buttons that have um, some sort of teeth or some sort of texture to them. And then moving to the bottom, you can see that we do have that pill shape cut out there for the USB-C charging port and the speakers. Looking at the corner and the bumper though, you can see that little cut in there. So that is part of that drop protection with this case and that is on all the corners. There is nothing going on on this side other than just a matte black finish. And then at the top, you can see that we do have a circular cutout for the microphone. As you can see, it is actually fairly flat, even though we do have a little bit of a hump that does stick out with this design of this type of case. Looking at the front of the phone, you can see we have lips all around the whole entire front, so we are getting some decent screen protection. This is also a tempered glass friendly phone case. And if I turn the phone on, that's the look you're gonna get with those borders around the side, so it is fairly slim still. And then if you see right up there at the top, you can see how that cutout design is for the speakers, very similar to the other two cases. So now let's go ahead and do the wobble test with this phone. So so let's go ahead and do face down first and there is no shaking going on at all and back down we're going to do two different tests we're going to do it with it open how it is which we are getting some shaking going on and then if i close it let's see if that still gives us some shaking going on and it will so it's going to definitely be wobbly if you hit it on the corner just right but that's not a deal breaker in my opinion because it still protects your camera very well next let's do the clicky button test let's do the power button first 
and volume up and down. Okay, so buttons are very clicky and tactile, so no issues at all there. And last but not least, the actual Qi wireless charging test. So let's put it on there. And we didn't get a reading right off the bat, so I'm gonna move it a little bit and let's see if we get it, and there we go. So I will say with this type of case, since there is a little bit of a hump right there, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that's kind of in the middle of the Qi wireless charger that you're using. Now I'm using a smaller square shaped one, but if you had like a larger pad, then this wouldn't be an issue. So it is Qi wireless charging compatible. Just make sure that with the type of Qi wireless charger you're using, that you do have this center part here in the middle of whatever charger it is that you decide to use. So there we have it guys. There are all three cases from SimTech. So all of them have their disadvantages and advantages. The disadvantage with the clear one is gonna be that you are gonna deal with fingerprint issues and smudges sometimes because it is a clear case. And you're not gonna deal with any fingerprint issues with the semi-translucent one, but you will deal with those smudges, which sometimes if you're OCD like me, when it comes to phone cases, you're gonna be constantly rubbing it down. And the same thing kind of with this one, with this um, you know, material on the back being this nice smooth TPU material, but it's matte black. The oils, once again, from your hands could definitely give it some issues, but it's nothing that's gonna be a deal breaker in my opinion, because these cases are very affordable. So if you're interested in buying any of these, I will put some affiliate links down in the description for Amazon. So hit that like button if you like this video. If you loved it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, I'll see you on the next one.